want to find the exact value in degrees of the inverse sine of one half. Now how in the world am I going to do that? Well if you recall we have a definition for that and our definition tells us that the inverse sine of x equals alpha. Now that's only if the sine of alpha equals x and remember there's a stipulation for where it can lie so it's going to be between negative 90 and 90 degrees. Okay that's great so I've got a definition. How am I going to use that definition? Well I'm going to plug in what I know. I have an inverse sine but instead of x now I have a one half and that would equal to alpha. So alpha is what I need. Well still doesn't look like I can solve it right? So now what if I rewrite it as the sine of alpha equals one half. Oh hey now I remember what the sine of alpha is so the sine of I know 30 degrees is one half. Now does that fit the stipulation? Is 30 in between those numbers? Well I'm going to plug in 30 and I notice that 30 does fall between those numbers so then that means the answer for the sine of negative one or the inverse of one half is 30 degrees.